This segment is brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. Just a short drive down the yellow brick road. And good morning. I'm Frank. I'm Deb. And this is Around Kansas. Thanks for joining us this morning. It's a beautiful month of May. Oh, it is, here. isn't it? It's uh, <laughs> the most beautiful time of year in Kansas. <laughs> yes. You know, I get to go all over the state, green grass everywhere, and just uh, new calves on the ground. And, you know, it's, mm. a, it's a really pretty time. Yeah. Everything blooming. May is great. May is great. Except October is great. May and October. Except for the allergies in May and <laughs> yeah. October, you know. That I may... don't know why I brought that up. It's just that I'm an October person. I love October. I like October, too. Yeah. But, so, anyway. but, I'm, but I'm real happy with May so far. <laughs> I, dread the, I dread the summer a little bit, yeah. honestly. All the heat. Well, uh, I'm not going to have to worry about heat this weekend. Dr. Jake and I are headed up to Denver. Ah. Which, kitties, remember, used to be part of Kansas. Don't... Don't forget that when you take the quiz, make sure you, you mark that correctly. But the uh, Order of the Indian Wars Conference is meeting up there, and that's just a wonderful group of folks from all over the country that meet to uh, discuss the Indian Wars from the beginning of, uh, you know, founding of America on... Uh, some things are still going on, you know, but it's a great, great group of folks. And I did a segment on the Order of the Indian Wars group um, I don't know, a while back, but you can go and uh, that's archived on our website when we went down to Las Cruces. And a lot of Kansas connections. I don't care where you go, there's going to be a lot of Kansas connections. And the fall trip this year is going to be the French and Indian Wars, so it's going to be back in western Pennsylvania. Hmm. And of course, Kansas has an amazing connection to the French and Indian Wars, and that's Fort de Cavanaugh that um, is sort of where Fort Leavenworth is today. So there were French soldiers stationed at Fort de Cavanaugh who were in western Pennsylvania hmm. fighting, and I think actually shooting at Daniel Boone, if the story I have is right. So all kinds of crazy Kansas <laughs> connections in there. Yeah. Now, you know, uh, we've talked about Don Coldsmith's books, mm -hmm. you know, The Trail of the Spanish yeah, Bit. Yeah. And the thing is, is people really thought he was Native American because Native Americans asked him that. And they said, well, because the stories you have told are so true to form. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you really want to get into uh, well, not only really good stories, but some history, you might want to read those books. And it, you know, it does refer to the various tribes, uh, which are primarily here in Kansas, and mm -hmm. he talks about the Western, which now we know uh, it was more referring to the Colorado area, and of course the Eastern and Southern and Northern and all of that. And anyway, it's, it's uh, sometime at least start with book number one, Trail of the Spanish Bit by they, Don Coldsmith. They'll yeah. put you there. They'll put yeah. you there. And I was, uh, um, one of the things we're going to talk about today is Scott City. And of course, uh, especially the south, the western and southwestern part of the state have so many connections to that Spanish history. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll be a fan for life of the history and, and Coldsmith stories. And there's just so much to be explored. And we'll do it with you in just a minute. Stay with us. Buying a car shouldn't be this hard. And at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, it isn't. It's actually awesome. Whether you want a new or used car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. Even if you want to custom order a new car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. See Toby's team at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. We're awesome. <laughs> 